So today I'm going to be throwing a teapot and I've already completed one on my list and this is the second one. That's in a 3D but you can see the general design. It's just going to be straight up and down and um, instead of having a spout it's going to have like a pitcher um, spout so it's just going to be the size of the pot bent um, and then it's going to have a flat lid with a little knob and a square rectangular handle. So I'm going to get started throwing my base right now. So, here's my lid. I'm going to trim it in a second. And then I made my little spout on my teapot right there. I cut this little rest where the lid's going to sit so the water would come out nicely or the tea would come out nicely. And I'm going to trim this also and then I'm going to attach the handle and it'll be done. So, quick update Elsie's trimming her teapot right now. So, here's the trim. What do you think of it? I like that little lip you yeah. have. So, here is my finished teapot. Um, I don't know if you can see, but that's how the lid sits in there. It's a bit of a deep, um, like, well that the lid sits in. But, um, it fits nicely. And then, the spout just cut into the pot. So now I'm going to let this dry and then we'll bisque fire it and get on to glazing it. So this teapot I'm going to glaze with this satin oride glaze which is like a nice blue green and it has lighter speckles in it. I'm not going to glaze the base of this as you can see it's waxed um, so it should keep its good fit. It shouldn't be too big. So. I'm going to get glazing. So here's my teapot, all finished firing. Um, I got a really nice um, blue-green color from the Satin Oribe Glaze, which was just what I was looking for. The glaze turned out really smooth inside and also on the lid too, so I'm happy with that. So let's see how my teapot pours. Holds a lot of water, two cups maybe. It's not a lot, but holds. Yeah. So let's see. Definitely is an interesting pour. I hope you enjoy this video, and in, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this teapot. And see you on the next one.